so hello guys welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to solve the second problem of weekly contest 265 that is find the minimum and maximum number of node between critical point so i will just quickly read the question and then we will see how to approach this problem so a critical point in a linked list is defined as either a local maxima or a local minima a node is a local maxima if the node value is strictly greater than the previous node and the next node that means then the node that we are seeing currently should be have greater value than its neighbor and a node is a local minima if the current node has a value strictly smaller than the previous and the next node that means the the node that we are seeing should have smaller value than its neighbor okay Note that a node can only be a local maxima minima if there exist both a previous node and a next node. Okay, that means that the first node and the last node cannot be considered. So, given a linked list head, return an array of length 2 containing min distance, max distance, where min distance is the minimum distance between any two distinct critical point, and max distance is the maximum distance between any two distinct critical point if there are fewer than two critical points return minus one and minus one so we have to find the mean distance that means the smallest distance between any two critical points uh, it can be either a local maximum or minima and similarly it will be just opposite for max distance that we have to find the greatest distance between the critical point so let's see example so it will be more clear so in from the first example we have given two nodes so it cannot have any critical points so the answer is minus one and minus one for the second example the answer is one and three so if you see the critical point that is one five and one you can see that the minimum distance is between five and one that is one and the maximum distance is between these two one and that is three okay seems good and similarly for the third example and also we can observe from this example is that uh, we should have at least four nodes as you can see that uh, five and one are the local max and minima so uh, it means that uh, if we have four nodes then uh, there is a possibility that we will uh, we can have a local minima or maxima but if we have only three nodes that means that we are restricted to only a maxima or minima so in that case a uh, valid pair of combination cannot be come that is we have to just return minus one and minus one so from here it's clear that uh, the linked list should have four or more nodes okay so let's just see an example uh, in the whiteboard and try to form an approach here is an example linked list so as we have to find the local minima and maxima so if we take a batch of three node and if we try to compare the middle node value uh, from its neighbor and if it is satisfying the condition then i think if we put the node position in a vector and then try some manipulation and then i think we can find the min distance and mag distance so after putting in a loop and try to do it similarly for the other nodes it can solve our problem so let's try to code it so taking a reference from the whiteboard let's call the head of the linked list as our previous node the node after the previous node as current and the node after the current node as next so now we have named our three nodes and before moving forward i think we have to check the condition like if we have less than three node in our linked list so we then have to return minus one and minus one as it cannot have a valid max and minima pair so if there is no head or there is no head next or there is no head next next then we just have to return minus one and minus one otherwise we have to move here so after that we can 
uh, write a loop and it will iterate till we have our next pointer so as you have to check whether the middle node is uh, satisfying the condition of local maxima and minima so we can write an if condition and check the value uh, as compared to its neighbor so now we have uh, checked the condition for local maxima and similarly we will do it for local minima so i will just copy it and just do the opposite sign now we have checked whether the our current node is local maxima or minima or not so if it is then we just have to uh, push the position of this node in a vector so let's make a vector here that will contain the position of the local maxima and minima and let's call it v and it will be empty and for the position i will just take a count variable here and it will be uh, have a value equal to 1 as we are seeing the initially we are seeing the value of current node as head next so now completing the if condition so we will just push back the position of the local minima and maxima and after that uh, we just increment the value of count here and since we have to move forward in the loop so we have to change the uh, position of the all the three pointer so after the first check our previous pointer will be equal to current pointer and our current pointer will be equal to our next pointer and our next pointer will be equal to next next value so now i think we will just iterate uh, the loop and we will get all the position of max and minima so now the only remaining task here is to find the min distance and max distance but before that we have to uh, check some condition like if the size of the vector is less than 2 that means we are able to find only one max man or a one local minima and in that case we just have to return minus 1 and minus 1 after that we can try to form the condition to find the local minima and maxima so to find uh, local minima uh, as you can see that the value of count is increasing always and we are just putting the value of count in the uh, vector so it will be a sorted vector and to find the minimum distance between the two value we can just compare the adjacent value and uh, from that we can find the minimum value so uh, i will just try the code and it will be more clear so let's keep a value mini that will be initially equal to int max and just uh, iterate in the for loop and uh, we will update mini equal to min of mini and vi minus vi minus one so after doing this we are able to find the min distance so for max distance i think you have already got so yeah it should be the value that will be that we will get if we subtract the value at the end of the vector with the value at the very beginning so we will just write the return condition that is we have to return mini and the back value minus the value at the very beginning so after doing this i think we can solve this problem so let's try to run the code and you can see that it has finished and try for all the test cases it is finished and you can see that the answer is matching with the expected value let's try to submit so yeah the solution got accepted so we have successfully solved the problem so i think i was able to clear this problem so thanks guys thanks for watching and let's meet in the new video till then stay healthy stay safe and happy coding